Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone! Welcome to another episode of Folder Decoder. I know it's been a really long time since I've made one of these videos, but I'm finally back today with a new folder to show off. In Folder Decoder, I showcase various folders that you can use for casual Mega Man Balneric gameplay, usually folders that I've made and used while playing the games myself. Today, we're celebrating the holiday season by spreading freezing temperatures instead of holiday cheer. This folder is all about Gospel's Commander Navi, Freeze Man. Fortunately, Freeze Man is actually one of the easiest Navis to S rank in the game. Since Freeze Man is an Aqua Element Navi, he takes double damage from Elect Attacks. This damage then gets doubled again due to the ice panels he stands on, making it ridiculously easy to S rank him for his V3 chip. This is a good thing, because you of course want to have 5 copies of the Freeze Man V3 chip in your folder. This chip is the only damage dealer of the folder. This may sound strange at first, but it's because the rest of the folder is meant to just buff the Freeze Man chip to absurd levels. The most important chips to support Freeze Man are the Aqua Plus 40 and Navi Plus 40 chips. Ideally, you should have 5 copies of each of these chips in your folder. Throwing 4 of these chips in with a Freeze Man chip buffs its damage from a measly 70 damage per hit to a massive 230 damage per hit. The other chip used to support Freeze Man is Area Grab or Panel Grab in the Star Code. The Freeze Man chip tends to hit panels in the same row as the opponent, so taking away their area makes the Freeze Man chip more likely to land hits. If your opponent is in a row where they only own a single panel, the Freeze Man chip will deal all 8 hits to the opponent. If fully maxed out, this does a total of 1840 damage. The rest of the chips aren't in the folder to support Freeze Man directly, but are still helpful chips to use. Personally, I love using 4 or 5 copies of Full Cust in Balnark 2 folders, letting you use your attacking chips or your area stealing chips, and then going directly into the next turn. I also like using several copies of the Invis chips in the Star Code for defense, or chips such as Shadow 3 or Life Aura 2, which conveniently both come in the F code. Other than this, you can really throw in whatever chips you'd like. The Freeze Man chips do enough damage that you really don't need to have any backup damage in this folder. For my folder, I just threw in Fire Sword and Remo Bit just to make sure I had 30 chips in the folder. Here's some footage of the folder in action, showing just how strong the Freeze Man chip can be.
that's all for this episode of Folder Decoder. I'll be making more of these videos throughout 2024, alongside videos of the Battlenark 4 challenge runs I'm currently playing over the next several months. I just completed a Proto Soul only run of Battlenark 4, using only sword chips for damage and a double soul patch card to give me a constant HP bug. That video will be up sometime in January, so if you're interested in more Battlenark content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch me play Battlenark or Pokemon Nuzlocke live, you can check out my Twitch channel, linked in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.